Welcome class, vectors. In this class, we want to talk about how to convert rectangular to polar form and how to convert polar form back to rectangular form. Remember, we already did a lot of videos on vectors, endeavor to watch it, it's very important, it gets why. Now, we have a very beautiful question on the board. Remember we said that if A, the vector of A is fi minus 9j, and the vector of B is 12i slash the angle of 340 degrees. The question is simple. Express A in polar form. B is express B in rectangular form. Now, looking at the question, you cannot see that A is supposed to get i minus 9j. It means if we are trying to convert this question to polar form, it means that i is already in one rectangular form. In some question. What it means is, if you see a vector like this and they ask you which form it is, that means that this form is what? In rectangular form. Now, for we to convert it to polar form, remember, this is a sums question, so we don't, under this my channel, I don't like talking too much. Let's go straight to the point. The formula used for uh, converting from rectangular to polar form is this. The vector of A is equal to the magnitude of A slash the angle of theta. Remember, if you want to compare this, and I, I can say that, that the vector of A is equal to what? Remember that I, come back to this place under the previous video I've made, I told you that under vectors we divide it into three Cartesian axes, three coordinates, and we have the X, we have the Y, and we have the what? The Z. And remember, under vectors, that X always goes with I. And then a Y always go with J, and then Z always go with what? With K. Now, the, it, is, it is easy. If I want to compare this vector to the standard formula, the video is on our channel. This is a continuation based on demand. If, you want to com, con, if I want to continue working on this, it simply means that I want to compare it. That is, remember that A, X, and whenever there is X, it goes with what? I. Now, plus, or let me compare with the other answer, minus A, Y, and it will go with what? J. This is not important. I just want to compare this with this. It means that X, if I compare it, this to this, it means that your, your X is equal to what? 8. And it means that your y is equal to what? Minus 9, by comparison. Now, remember, under the previous video I've made, if you are not following my channel, this may be tricky. It may be tricky for you. Now, remember, I said that under vector, I proved the formula that, that theta is equal to, I can call it a y all over a x. If I like, I can come here to say this is a x, a y, so that there will not be any confusion. And then if theta is equal to, theta is equal to the tan inverse, sorry, theta is equal to the tan inverse, tan inverse of a x all over what? a y. Now, remember, I've done magnitude of vectors, I did unit vectors, I did cross and dot product. And if you are not following the class or my video, please endeavor to watch it. The video is on our channel. Now, immediately, if you have been watching my video, and I, we, we, we write something like this. What, what, what is the answer? Of course, you should know that this is magnitude. What are we doing in magnitude? We just put, the, put everything in square and then square it. it. You get your answer. And answer start flowing naturally. Now, for you to convert to polar form, I said this is the most important formula for you to note. And then if you know this formula, and then you know that A is the magnitude. And you come here and you know that your theta is the tan inverse of A, Y, all over A, X. This is so easy, guys. All you need to do now is substitute it. And then your answer will start flowing naturally. Remember, for you to calculate and get your A magnitude, like we said, is just square this value. Remember, whether it's plus or minus, it does not matter. First, put it in square root. You square this value. This is 8i square plus minus 9 square, right? 
And then you punch your calculator. If you punch your calculator, this will give you 64 plus 81. And then the square root, the answer everything should give you 12.04. And that, if you have gotten your A magnitude to be 12.04, I'm going fast in this because I've done videos on this. I don't want to make the video boring. So I will be going with the speed of light. Now, we have gotten our A magnitude. The next thing is for you to get the theta. And the theta is the tan inverse. The theta is equal to the tan inverse of your, what is your a, 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 y? By comparison, we got our, our a, y to be minus 9 all over what? X. And the minus 9 all over X, whatever you get and you do the tan inverse, you should get minus 48.4. So your answer here is minus 48.4 degrees. And if that should give you minus 48.4 degrees, that means you have succeeded in getting your A magnitude and you have succeeded in getting your word, your, 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 your theta. All you have to do is just substitute it, substitute it into the formula above and your answer flow naturally. Remember from the formula above, this is the formula for polar form. And now your total answer, this is how your answer is going to look like. The vector of A will not be, what is the answer you get in your A magnitude? We got it to be what? 12.04 slash the angle. And what is the angle? We got the angle to be minus 48.4. And that is the answer. Now, that means we have succeeded in converting or expressing rectangular, changing it to what? Polar form. Remember, I said, if a vector look, looks like it, it means this is the word, the rectangular form. And this is how the polar form looks like. Now, using the formula, this is what your answer should look like. Now, that is it for A. For B is express B in rectangular form. Express B in rectangular form. If you understand A very well, all you need to look, like, look at is what? B. It means that B is in polar form and then we want to what express it back to what rectangular form this is so easy guys this is so so easy and then if you can know the formula everything becomes extremely easy for you now remember the vector b is in polar we want to convert it to rectangular form and the rectangular form of vector is that B is equal to BX, whenever there's S, it goes with what? I. Plus BY, whenever there's Y, it must go with what? J. Now, please know this. If I want to change polar form to rectangular form, it has a formula. The X always goes with cos, and then the Y always goes with what? With sine. So, all you need to know is that your X is what? The cos, and then your y is what? Sine. So I will remove this and substitute it into this value, and your answer will start flowing naturally. What it means is that this formula will change to what? B is equal to B cos i plus B sine j. That is it. This is the formula you need to convert from polar form to what? Rectangular form. Not it very well. Note it very well. S is cos theta, y is sine theta. This is sine i, so this will be i, and this will be what? J. Good. Now, note this thing very well. By comparison, all you need to do is bring down the vector, the polar form. The polar form is B is equal to 12 slash angle of 340 what? Degrees. Now, by comparison, by what? Comparison. We want to get, we want to compare it to get our value and substitute it into this formula and answer will flow naturally. Now, all you need to do right now is you already know from this that your B, remember, from here, you bring out this formula. Remember I said that B 
is equals to B magnitude slash what theta. What it means is from by comparison, it means that your B is what 12, and then that your theta is 340 degrees. Please pay attention very well by comparison. Remember, this is the formula for converting, this is the formula for polar. And I want to use this to compare it to change it to what? Rectangular. This is the formula for converting to rectangular. But I need to know what my B is. I need to know what my theta is. Now, by comparison, you already know that your B is 12. And then but your theta is what? 340 degrees. All you need to do right now is come to this formula, substitute it, and get your answer naturally. So all we need to do right now is I will come to this side. This is B, the vectors of B will now be, what is your B? Your B is 12. Because your theta is 340i. Plus, your B is still 12 sine Sine of theta, which is what? 340j. Now, all you need to do is punch your calculator because 340 times 12 should give you what? And then sine 340 times 12 should give you what? Now, now, 12 cos 340, if you should punch it in your calculator, that will give you 11.28. Remember to always put your I plus 12 times sine 340, that should give you a value of minus, minus 4.1J. And that is the answer. So we have succeeded in converting from um, polar form to rectangular and from rectangular to polar. That is all for this video. Thank you guys.